Hi, and welcome to the fifth video on Harry Edison's centerpiece. In this video, we're going to be looking at a section of an improvised solo by Harry Edison on this very piece. So the second page of your worksheet has the transcription written out. Have this to hand and read it through whilst listening to Harry Edison play his solo. Now I really like this section of Harry Edison solo because it demonstrates a few of the techniques that we have been working on in our previous videos. Hopefully learning to play this solo will give you some ideas for ways in which you can use the simple improvisation ideas that we've been working on and string them together to make longer improvised solos. So let's look at the beginning of the solo. What we have here is a very strong, simple motif that he repeats four times. And he repeats the exact same motif, but changes the last note just to create a little bit of variation. And then he does the whole of that again. Now this kind of copies the idea of the melody where you have a simple idea that repeats over and over again. So I think this is quite nice because not only does it sound nice, but it also mimics some of the characteristics of our melody. So we have the same thing again. Now the next section, you'll see that I've put the third of each triplet in brackets. That's something that we call a ghost note. Now a ghost note is where a note is played so quietly that sometimes it's almost inaudible, but it's it's the least important one of the three. However, it's it being there adds to the rhythm and the groove of a section. So ultimately, in this part of the piece, he's playing and just repeating those two single notes. However, he is ghosting um, a concert B flat to complete the set of triplets each time. Now this is something that's much easier to do on a wind instrument than it is on a piano because you can really play one note a lot quieter or even not really play it at all. The next chorus of his improvising again goes to this really strong idea of playing a motif and repeating it and maybe just making slight alterations so it doesn't get boring. So he plays his opening motif or idea which is effectively the same thing repeated twice and then when he goes to play it the second time he alters the rhythm and also alters the ending of it now what he goes on to do is quite interesting he plays the exact same idea but he plays it a fourth away. Now, if you look at the chord sequence, for those of you who understand this, you'll see that the chord moves to chord four, something we spoke about in the very first video. So he's taken this idea and he's moved it a fourth so it fits over chord four. So it's exactly the same idea, just a fourth away. Now you'll have heard from the video that the next section he plays a lot of notes quite fast. So we're not going to learn all of those notes and instead I've given you three bars to use some of your techniques or maybe even copy some of Harry Edison's techniques and see if you can fill that space with something that fits inside this solo and sounds like it might be something that Harry Edison has played himself. 
and the very final bit is just a, a nice bluesy melodic line. And that is the whole of two choruses of Harry Edison's solo on Centerpiece. Transcription is a really useful tool for all jazz musicians. It allows us to take ideas from the greats of the music and help incorporate them into our own playing. So if there's a jazz musician that you really like the sound of, if you start to listen really carefully to their improvised solos and start copying some of their ideas, it allows you to take on their sound. And this is something that all throughout time jazz musicians have done is they've learnt from their heroes and taken those ideas on themselves and then created their own ideas which again have been passed on through the generations. So as I said transcription is a really really useful and important tool for jazz musicians. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed listening to the great Harry Edison and learning a lot about the blues and about centerpiece.